You have way more basketball knowledge than me, so. Well, we're recording, so everyone can hear that. He does have way more basketball knowledge than me, people. Okay. <laughs> All right. Our four viewers, okay. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, we're so, so popular. Oh, hey, the last video got a thousand, so. I saw that. We're, yeah. we're good. Okay, what's up? That's FP, dude. This is O Dub. Let's yes, get sir. let's get ready. Let's get rolling. All right, do you want to go first because I think your list is better. My list is better. Okay. Well, what I was thinking is we start with honorable mentions, then do each other's ten, then nine. You know. Oh, okay, I think so, that's, that's smarter than my idea. Yeah. I'm gonna throw out my honorable mentions. So let's see. Two people that first made the cut and then got cut from the cut. That was poorly phrased. But LeBron James and Kevin Durant, they are no longer on my list, but they were. <laughs> and oh. so they're honorable mentions, you know. I started looking into those two and was like, there's better players, you know. LeBron's too old and, like, not as good. I even have a whole slide dedicated to LeBron James. Um, but yeah, and then Kevin Durant was just overpowered by the likes of other players, which we'll get into. Well, the sad thing is they're both on my list. <laughs> so, um, my, I don't know. I think I'm just st stuck in like freaking 2019, bro, because <laughs> I haven't watched enough NBA basketball to like have as good of knowledge as freaking FP, man. <laughs> But I had my one of my uh, honorable mentions was a healthy Kawhi Leonard. Yes, he. Yeah. So I had Kawhi, and then I also had uh, Devin Booker as an honorable mention. One of the reasons I didn't put him on my list is because I just am not a fan of the Suns or Devin Booker. <laughs> so he is jazz fan by. <laughs> yeah, and then the last one is Damian Lillard. He did not make the cut. I don't know why. He probably should have over... Well, actually, yeah, he probably should have made it still, but... It, it's really tight, honestly. But Especially Damian Lillard. Talking broad topics like this. Yeah, man. So, you want to go your your 10th guy? Yeah, hold on. First, I do want to mention Bam Adebayo. I was going to put him on... Is the, another honorable mention. Yeah. He fits the archetype for, like, the best players in the league right now with, like, the playmaking bigs. But he just isn't quite at the level, so it's just he's still pretty I, young, though. So yeah, he's, so, yeah. We'll see. Maybe in a couple years. But my number ten is Damian Lillard. Let me pull up what I wrote about him. Oh, well, you have like whole things about him. I don't have anything. <laughs> Where's Dame? It's just Dame my, in my in here. Dame stats. Okay, wow. I got I got all the stats. Hold up. Wow. Y'all y'all gotta see this. Freaking Hold points up. per shot. He's got everything, man. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Uh, let's see. I think it comes in number two. My monitor just... Okay. Well, <laughs> his true shooting percentage at 65.2 is really good. Points per 100 possessions, 43.8. That's what I was using. I was wow. using per 100 possessions for all of these stats, and this is playoffs and regular season combined. Um, and then one thing that really stood out was his Raptor, which is basically adjusted plus minus for like players who like adjusted for players going in and out like with each other. So um yeah, so basically your points impact on the team. His Raptor is plus seven point eight, which is tied for number two in the league. So that stood out. And then yeah. Yep, that's that's what I think about him so well you're number 10 the thing, the thing is our ways of looking at players are so much different and his is so much better because <laughs> he looks at the actual stats i'm the stat head guy and i look at like how i like yeah see the player like whether <laughs> the, the eye test <laughs> yeah it's not like if i like him or not necessarily but like yes. how good i've seen them play in the past or how good they could be yeah but mine is really all over the place we still have like the similar players on the list, but they're just in like completely different spots. <laughs> yes. I put Everywhere. AD at the ten. AD at ten because 
of his freaking injury proneness. So yes, just because of how he gets injured all the time, but like still makes a top ten because he's still yes. a great player when he's healthy. So okay, so uh, Anthony Davis is on my list. Once we get there, you're just way higher than I'll, I know. Yes, I'll talk about him some more. But his games played. So a big thing about him is his health. But this season was a great season. 56 games was a good season as of late. Um, games played over. So 50, 56. Wait, yeah, 56. I was saying 54 for some reason, but. A couple years ago, does that say no, 36 games? Or no, that, yeah, 56 games. In 2021, and then he had 40 in 2020. 36, too. Wow. And then 36. So, yeah, this was a better year. So, that's why he earned a higher ranking. But also, wow. also, when you look at the stats, it is mind blowing. Some of these stats. Okay, points per shot 1.23, which is really good, actually. True shooting. 61.7%. Good. His PER comes in at 27.8. And his his defense... So his Raptor is tied for for third, I think. Like the third highest Raptor at uh, plus 7.2. And his defensive Raptor is plus 4.7, which is second highest in the league. Only second to the one and only... Headband warrior Alex Caruso at plus six point one defensive raptor. Nice, but dude. I should <laughs> yes. Alex Caruso. And his his blocks per one hundred three point one and his steals per one hundred one point five. That is awesome. <laughs> his defensive rating is at one hundred nine point five, which it's all right. I think there's been there's better on here or something. I actually might be wrong about that, but yes. Good, solid defensive rating, um, and yeah, so that that's my thoughts on Anthony Davis, and we can get to him, but like, just his incredible defense was, really stood out to me. Okay, I think Giannis has a higher defensive rating than him, yeah, but okay. He's Giannis, but that's why. <laughs> yes, okay, number nine. Number nine, I have Jason Tatum. So, originally, he was number five on my list, and then he plummeted. Uh, but who's your number nine? Before we He's, talk about This guy Tatum, should have been a little bit higher, but Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy Buckets. Yes. Um, so, I he's, feel he's like, your eight then, so yes. you're not that far off. Yeah, no, Jimmy Butler's my eight. So, we'll talk about Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler here. But, yeah, I feel like a lot of my um, Jimmy Butler stuff... What like my rankings for Jimmy Butler? A lot of it was based on like his incredible playoffs. <laughs> I was like, this is like too much to like ignore, right? But Jason Tatum, he's good, like you can tell. But he's like I don't know. He comes in at nine because he's not as efficient with fifty nine point eight true shooting and one point one nine points per shot. Um, and then his three point percentage is only at 34.2. That's pretty low. Playoff actually. and regular season, which is strange. Um, um, let's see what else. His defensive rating is actually pretty solid though at 110.8. Um, that I feel like is a, a nice, like, Jason Tatum is a two-way player. We all know that. But it's like kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I had Jason Tatum higher. But it, yeah. it's just because, like, I think in the future he could be, like, yeah, maybe even a top five. Yeah, for sure. So, um, But, yeah. And then his assist-to-turnover ratio was really off-putting to me, though, at only 1.6. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on Jason Tatum. Do you want to say anything else? Nope, other than I, I put him at seven. And I probably should not have put him over Jimmy Butler. And also, I also put Kevin Durant on this list, and Kevin Durant was my eight. I, I showed you that. <laughs> um, but, so, his points per shot, 
comes in at 1.24 and is true shooting at 61.7. Those were some nice marks. His Raptor is plus 6.2. And his assist to turnover, this was a huge thing that put me really high on him. His assist to turnover was 3.4, which is great. Oh, and his steals per 100 is 2.6. So, And, yeah, that incredible playoff carrying the almost eliminated in the play-in heat to the finals. Because they were, what, the, they were the eighth seed? Or something like that. Yeah, and then but then yeah. they like lost in the first round of the play-in. So yeah. All right. What are your thoughts on Hemi Butler? I just think he's a great player all around, man. Just I love him. Like he's one of my favorite players. Um, but I feel like his defense and just like his he's like one of the more hardworking players in the league. Um, because you have people that like don't care about defense anymore and like. Hustling, but Jimmy does. That's what makes him great. Um, yeah, that's Yo, it. That's all yeah. I think. Dude, I also love Kevin Harlan's call. Jimmy freaking Butler. That was awesome. But Okay, your number eight was Kevin Durant, right? KD. Mm -hmm. Who is my number eight? My number eight? Oh, yeah, Jimmy Butler. We just talked about him. Okay, Kevin Durant. I what, do think you, what do you think? He's just... Always been a great scorer, and I just always thought it was so cool, like the things he could do at his height. And that's, um, even though he hasn't played as good, and is also getting older, and is not really, does not really have an NBA body at all. <laughs> it's he's, like Chet. He's got the Chet Holmgren, the Chet Holmgren build, the skinny. But I just think he's a great player, and can get you buckets when he's healthy, so. Oh, now I remember why I didn't have much stats on Kevin Durant. This website, dude, splits the stats between the teams, so I only found, like, I was like, I don't want to do that. But, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, Kevin Durant. I just want to pull up something with the Suns real fast. He didn't play much, but I'm pretty sure he played better with the Suns than with the, with the Nets this season. Um... How many points per game? How many games did he play with the Suns? Eight. Eight, <laughs> eight games eight with games. the Suns. But he did average 26 a game in those eight games. Yes, and then the playoffs. That this is, will give me the playoffs. That dude. is crazy, dude. Yeah, that is. Okay. That's one problem. It's just freaking you have to, what? You have to be on the court. Yes, you had to be on the court. Kevin Durant also had injury issues. <laughs> Bro slipped in warm-ups. Like, I don't even how. <laughs> <laughs> slipped in warm-ups and sprained his ankle. <laughs> He's skinny, man. That's why. He's skinny. Chet Holmgren build. That's why Chet's never going to be good. We can dive in on that later. <laughs> in, a, in a future episode, why Chet Holmgren will never be good. That should be next episode. Facts. <laughs> Unless he can gain, like, 20 pounds at least. More than that. <laughs> like... Needs to be, yeah, yeah, a lot of pounds. Okay, well, okay, here we go. Kevin Durant, how many possessions did he play with the Suns? In playoff and regular season, he played 1,439 possessions compared to Devin Booker, who played 4,488. <laughs> Kevin Durant's points per shot comes in at 1.23. Oh wait, no, one point two five. Yes, so that is good. That that's with the thunder, or I mean thunder, Suns. <laughs> um, that was a while ago. Yes, yeah, thunder um, was a while ago. Wow, that's crazy. Points per one hundred comes in at thirty four point five. All right. Okay. Well, moving on. Let's see. Ooh. Number seven, right? My number seven is Stephen Curry. Yours was Jason Tatum, right? Yeah, I had Steph way higher just because of because it's Steph Stephen Curry. Curry. <laughs> I, I the thing with Jason Tatum though, for my seven, he played seventy four games last season. Yeah, and averaged thirty a game. Yeah, that's that's I ain't, that's great. I didn't know he played seventy four games. Like that's pretty dang good. Yes, 
along with eight rebounds and four assists. So, since you have Steph Curry so much higher, do we want to wait for the Steph breakdown? Oh, uh, sure, yeah, we can wait. We'll wait for the Steph breakdown, and then we can go to your my number six. Who's your six? The six. I don't even. Oh crap! I think it's. I think it's LeBron, dude. It's LeBron. <laughs> it's LeBron. Okay, give us your LeBron breakdown. It's LeBron because I know he's very old and. A couple years ago, I'd put him way higher, obviously, um, but it's but LeBron James. It's, anymore. I, <laughs> it's LeBron James. Uh, he beat the scoring record. He is still like the fact that he's playing like still as good as he is at this age is, is pretty impressive. Yeah, and I mean, not really bad at all. Uh, Six assists, eight rebounds, 28.9 points per game for 55 games played. Um, I just think it's LeBron James. He's not my favorite, but I think he's still a great player and has been in great shape. I can't still. believe he played 50, less games than Anthony Davis, though. That's surprising. That is very surprising. But how many... How many did AD play again? 56. <laughs> oh, one more game. <laughs> so they were like right there with each other. But... Um, yeah, so some things that made LeBron just fall off of my list was that his points per shot was lower than, I'm pretty sure, all of the other players on this list. At 1.17, true shooting, 57.9, which is low mark. And his usage rate is 31.2, which is high. And then one thing I thought was just absolutely hilarious was that his Raptor is at four point plus four point three, which is lower than Austin Reeves. He has less of an impact on the Lakers than Austin Reeves based on that Raptor stat. <laughs> so that is yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's funny. <laughs> okay. I do think another honorable mention, if we're going back to that, is uh, SGA. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. So, yeah. Yes, honorable mention, Shea Gilgis Alexander. And we can't forget Walker Kessler in the honorable mentions, too. We also but. can't forget about uh, Josh freaking Giddy. Josh Giddy, dude. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, you can never forget about Josh Giddy. This, this man is Josh Giddy. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much... Australian, six foot eight. Yes. <laughs> We're the same person. Okay, so. No. Okay, we, that, okay. was, that was number six, and that was LeBron, right? Yes, okay. my number six is DeMontis Sabonis. Which I didn't even think about. DeMontis Sabonis, dude. Oh my gosh, I love this guy. Number one, he played 79 games. I don't have that down here, but he played 79 games. Um, nobody plays 79 games. It's crazy. Um, his three-point percentage playoff plus regular season was 35.7, which is higher than LeBron James, Jason Tatum, pretty sure Luka Doncic, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so, um, his true shooting 65.1 and his points per shot at 1.3, um, assists per 100 is 9.7 for a big man. That's incredible. Um, a stat I found, oh, and then his rebounds per 100, 16.8. Um, a stat I found awesome, though, was his, um, his, oh my gosh. Okay, his offensive rating at 120.7, and then his defensive rating at 116.8. So, bad defensive rating, good offensive rating, which is totally on brand for any Sacramento Kings player. <laughs> you watch them play, and they're just like, I'm going to outscore you. That That's all they do. And I have not seen enough Sacramento Kings games <laughs> to know how good he actually is because I do not care to watch. Like, if I'm going to watch an NBA game, which sometimes <laughs> I, I rarely Kings? even do, but the Kings is not. They're yeah, not going to be. exactly. Yeah, he's definitely good, especially whenever he plays the Jazz. He just has to play even better because that's just how it goes. That's just, everyone plays better again. Like, Eric Gordon randomly decides to drop 50, 50 on the Jazz. I was at that game, too. 
I'm like, dude. He just <laughs> you dropped. were at that game. I was at the game. Oh my god. The refs gosh. were bugging the crap of me. They were calling like a foul every time <laughs> down the play, like down the floor. And then Eric Gordon drops fifty. <laughs> dude. Like oh I was, my god. I was looking up at that scoreboard like fifty. Like Aaron, like Eric Gordon, excuse me, Eric Gordon, fifty points. Because like, because what, what year was that, <laughs> dude? That was they didn't have they that had Harden. Been, they didn't have Harden still, did they? That was right before the bubble. That was I think they did. I'm not sure. I, I think they did have. He Harden. might have just barely got traded. They had Harden and. If I don't remember, it was Where right before say. the bubble. Like it was the same. It was the COVID season just before COVID. Would that mean they had Westbrook too? Yeah. And so yeah, Westbrook and Harden did not play. Yeah, and so right. Eric Gordon was their main dude. Pretty Eric much. Gordon. Yeah. Just popped off. <laughs> okay, that's it sad. Crazy. It was so sad because I was so mad in that game. Hey, maybe the Jazz will play the Suns and Eric Gordon will drop fifty with like with Kevin Durant, Brad Beal, Book. And Aiden all out of the lineup. <laughs> yeah. And they'll just have a bunch of guys on minimum contracts playing. Because that's the rest of their roster. <laughs> Bull Bull is going to drop 50. <laughs> That'd be fun to watch. <laughs> yes, Bull Bull, Bull, Bull dropping, dropping 50. I'd like to see... That'd be one guy I would like to see drop 50. Bull Bull. <laughs> just the way he would do it. He's like 7'3". Yes. Oh my that, god. That'd be so cool. That'd be funny. Okay. Number five, I see. Ooh. Cracking into number five, I put Luca ooh. at the five, which I do think he should be higher, but he's at the five for me. Luka Doncic, hopefully if he stays on the same track and keeps getting better, potential MVP possibly in the future. I'm not saying that soon, but I think he yeah. could be. <laughs> Last year when we did this same video, I had Luka... Tied for number one <laughs> with Nikola Jokic. And um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if it was the same video or a different video. Like, it also during the offseason, but we did award predictions. And I had Luka Doncic and um, Jokic tied for winning MVP. Um, that's, how, that's how confident I am. But um, let's see. Do you want to do the Luka breakdown right now? If you want to break him down, then yeah, you let's, can. Let's dissect Luka Doncic. <laughs> 60.8 uh, true shooting. Dude, I did not have this organized. Points per shot. Okay. I lied. It's not that good. 1.13. Uh, <laughs> not as efficient as everyone else. Three-point percentage, 34.2. Um Field goal percentage, 49.7. Okay. That is, these, not, that is not looking good. These are all the bad stats. The and, numbers are uh, not. I, okay. Wow. Um, usage rate, 37.5. Um, okay. Percentage of field goal makes assisted. <laughs> that stat. Okay. That's so goofy. But the percentage of his makes that were assisted is only 15.4, which is the lowest mark here. Assists per 100, 11. And his turnovers per 100 is 5. His Raptor is plus 7.8, which is the second highest. Tied with Damian Lillard and I think one other guy or something. Um, yes. His 3-point assists per 100 is 5.3. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm just like a Luka fan, I guess. I'm not even, like, I hate him. I'm just like... I watch him play. This guy's good. Like, like I don't know. I I guess I'm like biased towards Luca for some reason. <laughs> I don't even like him, dude. I don't know. <laughs> okay, who was your number five? Or what are we? That was number five. That was five. Yours was Luca. Yours is my Andy. number five is Anthony Davis. We sort of talked about him. Um, one other thing I want to say about Anthony Davis is 17.6 rebounds per 100 and 4.6 offensive rebounds per 100. Anthony Davis. Also, Christian Wood, because we're talking about Anthony Davis and the Lakers. His contract was a steal. And, and, I said he would come off the bench. And also the Lakers said he would come off the bench. But, <laughs> starting him next to Anthony Davis, I could see lots of benefits to that. Because they make up for each other's weaknesses. 
because Christian Wood can't play defense and Anthony Davis is arguably the best defender in the league right now when he's healthy. So, yeah, um, that's it for Anthony Davis. Oh, my gosh, 26 minutes. <laughs> okay. What is the Lakers starting five going to look like, though? D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, LeBron James, AD and Christian Wood, Rui Hachimura, and oh, AD. That's what they okay. said. But I, I think I forgot I about could see AD and Christian Wood. The but Lakers yeah. should be so much better. I know, dude. It's funny. It's funny how bad they are. It's funny because it's also the Lakers too. So <laughs> yes, that they're not having any success. Yeah. Okay. Number four. He probably should be higher, but this is all thanks to Steph Curry because I put him at freaking two because it is Steph and Curry. Nah, that four is good. But four, this is Joel. I think that's still pretty good. Yes. Joel I have at three. So let's so do the, a quick Joel course, yeah. breakdown. We'll dissect Joel Embiid now. Raptor, plus 7.8, tied for second in the league. Points per shot, 1.29. Defensive Raptor, plus 4.1, which is third if I'm not mistaken. One thing, James Harden is going to get out the fat suit again. So um, that, I think, will affect Joel Embiid, considering that Harden assisted 56.1% of all of Embiid's assisted two-point shots. And 61% of Embiid's makes are assisted. So about a quarter of Embiid's shots are were assisted by James Harden. And with James Harden leaving, I could see an impact just on his scoring. I Maybe not, though. His assist to turnover is sad at 1.2. <clears throat> his blocks per 100 is 2.6. Players shoot 48.4% with Joel Embiid guarding them. I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest. <laughs> me, personally, I would shoot terrible with Embiid on me. He's freaking like 7-1. Hey, seven, one. hey she's I don't know how he's going to guard me, man. I don't see it. He can't guard you, but <laughs> he can guard me. Um, his PER, 31.4. That's incredible. Second only to the best player in the league, who we'll get to later. No spoilers. No one knows who it is. No one knows. No one has any idea. And his defensive rating is 110.2. So, yeah. Something about Harden, though, is when he left Houston, I was so, like, surprised at, like, how much he was passing the ball and actually how well he's, how well he was passing the ball because whenever you would watch a Houston Rockets game, the ball would never leave Harden's yes, hands exactly. ever. And then – now he's becoming. Now a he's very, assisting a he's, quarter of Joel Embiid's He's a shots. very good passer now. Mm -hmm. I'm like that's just crazy. They, his game completely yes. changed. This James Harden drama, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is. Uh, I don't get what Daryl Morey lied about. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you have anything else on Joel Embiid? Nope. Okay. My number four and his number three, Giannis. Antetokounmpo. Yeah. Um, points per 100, 45.3. Oh, and beads, though, I forgot to say that, 46.0. But, yes, um, his offensive rebound percentage, or offensive rebound rate, 28.2. And he had 99 and ones. I just wanted to throw that out for some reason. <laughs> 99 and ones? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know. Like his usage rate is sky high at 39.6 and defensive rating 109.2. That's good. Um, yeah, his assist is 8.5 per 100 and three point assist is five per 100, which is surprising. Guess I uh, sort of, I don't know. Just like drive and kick, I guess, is Giannis's assist game. Um, yeah. Oh, but then his free throw percentage I want to throw out, 64.5. That's sad. <laughs> okay, what do you want to say about Giannis Antetokounmpo? Well, 
the thing you said about him just driving and kicking, I saw this video the other day, I forgot who it was, they were like interviewing, I think it might have been Isaiah Thomas, the old Isaiah Thomas. Yes. And he said something about how coaches and stuff would tell them to just, was it Isaiah Thomas? I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but he was saying that as a guard, coaches wanted them to drive because they open up the whole lane, they can mm. go finish, or they can kick it out, but they're saying that to guards, and Giannis is doing the same exact thing, Yeah. except he's, what, 6'11"? Yeah. And so he I, can just go dunk it on your head. He collapses the whole lane. He's either going to dunk it on your yeah. head, or he's going to kick it out, because he has, they have shooters. Like They have shooters. They have Grayson shooters. Allen, dude. Oh, yeah, dude, former jazz man. Former jazz man. Yeah, so yeah. I think he's just crazy. And I, yeah. as as a freaking power forward slash center, whatever he is, just the way he plays is just so cool, and I love to watch him. So, I'm pretty sure he's technically listed at, like, power forward slash small forward slash point guard slash shooting guard. He plays the one through five. He plays, <laughs> he plays one through five because he's just not good. Yes. So, um, okay. What, do you want to go for the Steph Curry breakdown? Let's do Steph Curry. That's my two. The Steph and Curry breakdown? Yeah. So he's my seven. Way lower, <laughs> way lower down, yeah. Seven. Hold on. I got to look now. Yes, he's my seven. Stephen Cur- oh, Stephen Curry. Okay. Points per shot, 1.31. Incredibly high. Second only to, I think, Nikola Jokic, who's at like 1.35. Um... <laughs> Pulling up these Jokic stats is going to be awesome. Three-point percentage, thir- or 42% playoff and regular season. I'm pretty sure regular season was lower, but um, assists per 183, 8, 83, oh my gosh, <laughs> that'd be crazy. 8.3. <laughs> um, yeah, his true shooting, 64.9, and offensive rating, 118.1. And then defensive rating, 112.4. Raptor plus 6.3, but his defensive Raptor is at negative 1.2, which is not good. Uh, he's <laughs> a negative, negative defender, and, apparently. If you see that, a negative, that's it's yeah, not good. If you see a negative. <laughs> I mean, it's also Steph, Steph Curry, so yeah. I wasn't really hoping for good defense if you look at his yeah. stats. But I think Steph Curry is just a great leader. Star player, but as goes for most other players, age. So he's getting older. Age, he's yes. getting older, so we'll see how long he lasts yeah. playing as good as he has been in the past. So. Yeah. There's one thing about Steph Curry. There's a crazy stat. I don't remember it, though. And I, like, I don't remember what the stat was at all. So I'm going to have to send you guys to Thinking Basketball Podcast <laughs> to find this. If y'all want to find this, you can listen through the one and a half hour podcast here. Who could be the GOAT? Wait, part one. There's going to be a part two. I forgot about that. Coming out like today or tomorrow. (laughs) Okay, but yes, check that out if you want to know that crazy stat. It's crazy or something. I don't know. (laughs) But okay, now, number one, the best player in the league. Everyone has been anticipating this, and nobody could have guessed this. Nikola Jokic. I think we have consensus on this one, right? Look at my nice handwriting. Oh! Mine's handwritten, hand dude. Handwritten <laughs> list. Mine's just typed. Yeah, you got a nice PowerPoint for freaking... <laughs> it's a slide for every player, and I'm over here yes. just with one sheet, and then I have to say <laughs> what I'm thinking, which is like hardly anything. Yes. But Jokic, oh. he just gives you freaking everything. The points per shot. He's... <laughs> He's seven feet tall. He can shoot the ball. He scores one of the best passers. And again, seven feet tall. Yeah. Uh, no. This Just isn't pretty much, pretty much every stat, I feel like. I haven't really looked at them, but I feel like... Well, do you want to look at them? Yes, look at them. But, like, every stat is, like, so good. Like yeah. His rebounding... I feel like I feel like something about his offensive rebounding is really good. Mm-hmm. And then obviously scoring and and the craziest thing about him like when he first started playing really well is like when I watched him pass I'm like dude this guy's yeah this guy doesn't even look like a basketball player <laughs> yeah and he's doing this well and then yeah just won the, he's a 
Two time? Two time MVP? Two time. Two Should time. have been three, but <laughs> Joel stole it from him, but Yeah, but uh two time MVP, finals MVP, won the chip. That's that's pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. Um so his points per shot. 1.37. 1.37. That is that's number crazy. One, that's number one in the league, right? I think so. Because Curry's was, what, 1.31? Yeah. And that was I'd, still impressive, too? I'd have to look at, like, everyone. But, I, wow. dude, what the heck? Michael Porter Jr.'s is 1.31. He doesn't pass the ball. Guys, MPJ. Um, <laughs> he's true shooting, 68.2. Um... Let's see. His three-point percentage, playoff and regular season, 40.6. Um, and then, hold on. His, let's see. I got to go ball handling tab. Okay. His, um, his assist per 100 is 13.5 as a seven-foot center. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that I mean, what like what else can you say about that, really? <laughs> it's crazy. And then his turnovers, dude, is only okay. Never mind, five per one hundred is a lot, but still, <laughs> I mean, compared to the thirteen point five assists, it's really good. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to say about? Oh, uh, one more thing. He is like so like just doesn't care. Uh, I heard a press conference. Um, he was like, basketball is not the main thing in my life. It's just my job. And if anyone tells you they like their job, they're lying. <laughs> so he's like, it's just, it's, he treats it like his normal nine to five. Right. And he cares about family and horses. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like that. I know that. That's that very cool. I like that about him. He just doesn't care. When asked about MVP, he's like, I don't care at all. <laughs> this is just my job. This is He said, basketball is just something I'm good at, I think is what he said about the like about his values, I guess. Basketball is just something I, I'm good at. That's, that's something I can really respect. But, yeah. Cool guy. Yep. Also, Bleacher Report committed, or the Bleacher Report community, fans and crap, committed a, a crime against humanity by placing Nikola Jokic number four in their top 100 players. The community did, like, voting, and Jokic ended up four. Who was who they put above him? They put Embiid above him. Luka Doncic was number two, Giannis was number one, and I think Steph Curry was number three. I'm fine with Giannis, but those other ones, I don't know. Yeah. Um... Okay, so before we end this video, I have to find this on the top 100. We Josh should, Giddy. We should make Josh Giddy. Uh, you should make Josh Giddy a meme, like in every one of your videos. A meme. He should be like the meme. We should make a bingo card, just like, like if we mention players. Yeah, Josh Giddy. We need to make like some type of meme. He has to be. Yes, yeah, Josh Giddy. He has to be the meme of the. The Australian the Velociraptor. So the in yeah, there we gave him that name. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's your name. That's my, <laughs> the Australian Velociraptor. Oh shoot! This is the community one. So in the community one, they had Josh. Get, I'll they be probably able had to find him lower. Bit. Giddy, giddy, giddy. I think they had him higher, dude. I'm not sure though. The community one had him higher. Is he like in the 80s or something or what? I don't know. I can't find him. Ah. Uh, Okay, so community had him 52. Nah. <laughs> Official bleacher had him at 57. Josh Giddy. What Not can bad. I say? Not bad. And I'm pretty sure he came in number two in their uh, ranking the um, 2021 draft class by potential. I like. I agree with that. Josh Giddy comes in number three. Evan Mobley and Cade Cunningham are above him. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, my boy Walker came in at 83 on the top 100, so... Walker Kessler, W for Walker. <laughs> Walker Kessler, great player, man. Yes, sir. Okay. That's a good note to end it on. Peace out, people. Dude, Brother Myers, I don't know. See if you, Brother, Brother Myers, Myers. If you're watching this video, you're a great seminary teacher, all right? See you, Brother Myers. Bro Myers. Bro Myers.